everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Sasha and if you're new here and you're a fabric lover like me give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed what are you waiting for join the family so you can see more fabric videos and look at this beautiful flamingo fabric right here that I got from the Dollar Tree so today it is part two of the video and um, this part that I'm trying to put together right here is the ruffles, okay? This is the ruffle, so I might be able to get the ruffle. So off the straps, I was able to cut off maybe five to six inches here. So I think that could give me just a little, a little bit of gather. So we're going to see how that works out right now. Um, so I'm just going to attach it. And then I already made the straps. Here they are. And if you want to see how I made these straps like this, um, folded like that, if you want to see how I did that without a bias tape, um, without a bias tape thingamajiggy, then comment down below and I'll show you how I made these straps here. Okay, so I'm going to put um, this together and come right back. Okay, so I have officially put them together and I made sure they were facing the right way because, you know, it is a directional print. Alright, so what I, I like to do first is I like to base the top first. I like to do the gathers up here first. I like to do the gathers here and then that way then after I do the gathers here then I'm going to hem the armholes I'm gonna hem all the armholes and then attach them together right in front together and then I'll show you what I do from there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get back to you so this is the one that needed to be finished I put the purple one on I had attached it in the middle here so this is what it looks like on the inside all right so this one is completely finished I just wanted to show you that the sides and I did these straps extra long because I wanted them to kind of hang down like all cute and stuff so that is that and it actually looks nice with the purple somehow. There is no purple in this fabric. But the purple right here just gives it a little something. I don't know. I tried to put other colors, but this purple just really made it stand out. So I like that. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am done. This is what it looks like. So I'm just using blue thread. So I've hemmed both sides, I've done both pieces back and the front. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is attach the band on. These are the steps that I do. I'm gonna attach the band on, so I'm gonna line up the middle. Sorry for the bad camera angles, <laughs> you guys. I'm trying. That's why I don't do much of these videos because it's kind of hard to show. But okay. So, what I'm going to do now is find the middle and attach this onto here. I'm going to pin it like so. I'm going to pin it like so, but and then I'm going to have it already set up to where the straps are. So, it's going to look something like this to give you an idea. So that's how it's going to be. That's how I'm going to pin it. I'm going to find the center between the straps and pin it here. And then I'm going to sew from the end of the straps down all the way to the other side. And then you could do that first. But sometimes, as you can see from the other dress, I usually do the side, the sides first. But this is a this is a step. It doesn't matter which way you do. You could do this one first, or you could attach the back and the front first. It doesn't really matter. So today, 
because I already said that with you guys. I am going to attach the band and then I'm going to do the sides and put it all together. And then we're going to do the... <laughs> Let's see what happens with this um, frill at the bottom. Let's see how that goes. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, folks. Um, put the straps on. Just need to trim that up. That's how I do the straps. I just do back stitches. And then I'll cut it off really close to the edge. And that's that. And only thing that's left to do now is to tack the sides right here. And hem the bottom. I'm not going to do the ruffles because it's not as wide as I wanted it to be. And I don't think the ruffles is going to look good on it if it's not that wide. It's not going to give me the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to hem it up and come back with the finished product. Okay, you guys. I am done. Pretty easy. I mean... Uh, as far as the video is six minutes so far I'm looking at it so you I feel like you could do this in maybe 30 45 minutes less than an hour it's super easy once you got the steps down it is super easy to make here it is I probably could show you better in another video but it is super easy here it is, I brought it to the table. So here it is, and it's a little top. Super cute. This can be worn with, you know, a little skirt or some pants, some shorts, some leggings, some something. This is nice, and if your daughter is, or little one is about this size, I think this size right here that I cut it on was maybe 12 months would be be a cute little dress so i'm gonna iron it now and thank you so much for watching watching i hope it wasn't too all over the place i tried so i hope you learned something from this video comment down below and i hope to see you guys making some of these pretty soon talk to you later Bye bye